In this video I will show you not only 4 best farms as usual, but I will show you 10 best gold farms you should do in May 2021. I am doing this video for each month and this video is a 5th video with this content. And I would like to recommend you to do as many of these farms as possible. This video will be slightly longer, but I will try to explain every farm in less than 1 minute. If I forget something, just ask me in the comments. Farm number 1 is new 2x4 BOE Arden Wealth Farm. This 2x4 BOE farm has probably the best BOE drop rate this moment. While with old Raven Red farm 8 people get 1 BOE in 3 hours on average, with this farm 8 people will usually get 2 or 3 BOEs per hour. The BOEs you can get here are 190 and 207 item level. Believe it or not, some 207 item level items have much better price than BOEs from BT Crate. To do this farm you need 2 groups of 4 people. And the best combo would be 7 reeds and 1 monk for statue thing. Of course you need tailoring to get more clothes from this farm and you will get lots of them because these mobs are mostly humanoids. This farm is for very active players and you should run and pull the mobs all the time because this farm has huge farming area. Just run and pull and give it some time, the mobs will hyper spawn in few minutes. This farm is located in Ardenweald, you can see the exact location on the screen right now. If there is a world quest, just do it first and uh, you will come to farming phase. If you can't find a group, join my discord and find people there. Farm number 2 is Dune Scavenger Mount Farm. This is 2x4 Battle for Azeroth Mount Farm. Uh, you need 2 groups of so 4 people to do this farm and if you want to farm raw gold and BFA clothes, you should have tailoring. Uh, the mount you can get here looks really nice and it has good sell rate and if you get it you will sell it pretty easy. The price of this mount is around 200,000 gold. This farm is located in Voldune, you can see the exact location on the screen right now. You can do this farm on two ways, to kill the mobs and loot every 20 minutes or just kill the mobs and loot whenever you want. If you want to get some raw golden clothes, I recommend you to kill and loot whenever you want. Farm number 3 is Sky Shard Farm. This is probably the most chilled farm in the game. All you have to do here is to take your spot, spam a macro for 20 minutes and then loot. I will leave a macro in the description below this video. With this farm you are going to farm Sky Shards. When you get 10 Sky Shards you will turn them into Sky Crystal and then you will use sky crystal on a lani dragon that flies in this area. When you do that you will get amount that you can sell at the auction house from 30 to 80,000 gold. This farm is located in Pandarian Old Vale of Eternal Blossoms. You can see the exact location on the screen right now. To do this farm you need a group full of druids uh, and they should be at least level 50 to one shot these mobs. Each member of your farming group should take one spot and you can see 5 spots on the screen right now. After 20 minutes of spamming a macro, just go and loot everything. When you finish with looting, get back to your spot and continue spamming a macro. You should usually get 10 sky shards per hour, which means 1 month per hour. Of course, sometimes you'll get more and sometimes you'll get less. Farm number 4 is 2x4 BOE Secret Ardenweald Farm. Another 2x4 BOE farm and this farm is probably the most hidden farm in WoW. Blizzard has hidden this farm very well and that's why I call it Secret Arden Wild Farm. This farm has very small farming area and it's perfect for people who like to farm BOEs and clothes and who don't like to move around too much. Even I said earlier that farm number 1 uh, has the best BOE drop rate, I can tell you that this farm has even better drop rate. Even with less kills per hour, uh, you can get more BOEs per hour here. To do this farm, you should have two groups of four people and I even think uh, that you don't even need monk for this farm. Of course, you can have it. This farm is located in Ardenweald, you can see the exact location on the screen right now. Don't worry, I will show you how to get there in next 20 seconds. So to get there, you should buy a Goblin Glider kit on the auction house. They are not expensive, just buy a few of them. Uh, when you get Goblin Glider, come to this exact location and jump. 
after you jump use goblin glider and you will get to this spot. Once when you are there just kill the mobs and they will hyper spawn and the faster you kill them the faster they will respawn. Farm number 5 is Hibernal Hollow on steroids. One really good skinning farm for those who prefer skinning and solo farms. This is my old Hibernal Hollow skinning farm but on steroids. It's on steroids because now it has much bigger and better farming area. I expanded farming area on this farm because now we have much better gear than few months ago and we can handle more mobs and we can kill them much faster. Of course you need skinning profession and I recommend you to have leather walking just to maximize gold making from this farm. Of course don't even start farming without faster loot add-on and Shadowlands gathering in chat. This farm is located in Ardenweald, you can see the exact location on the screen right now. Just start from some point, pull as many mobs as you can handle, kill them, loot them, skin them and then move forward and repeat. With this farm you should get more than 40 heavy colored hides, around 3000 desert ladders and around 50 heavy desert ladders. Farm number 6 is Silly to Strand Smoke Farm. For the first time in Best Gold Farms this month series, I recommend you to do one Trend Smoke Farm. I do this because I started farming Trend Smokes 3 weeks ago and I am already making more than 100,000 gold per week. And I even have only 600 Trend Smokes on the auction house. My goal is to have at least 1000 different Trend Smokes on the auction house. So if you want to start farming transmogs, this farm is perfect start. You will get lots of interesting transmogs with decent sell rate. For beginning, start farming this place for a few hours. And then try to sell some of the transmogs for one week at least. You will see they will sell. Just repose them on the auction house for one week. This farm is located in Old Silitus. You can see the exact location on the screen right now. Of course, uh, to do this farm on best way possible, you should be in a group full of druids, just run around, kill the mobs and loot them. Farm number 7 is Twix 4 BOE and Boots Raven Red Farm. This is the farm where you can make a WoW token in just one hour farming. With this farm you will farm BOEs, clothes, rough gold and boots. When you get those lost boots, uh, you will turn them into BOE 194 item level boots and then sell them on the auction house. If the price of those boots is decent, you will easily get more than 100,000 gold per hour farming here. Of course, like any other 2x4 farm, you should do this farm with two groups of four people and you should have tailoring. To turn those boots into BOE boots, you have to come to this little guy, buy the other boot and then right click on the boots you got from this farm. When you do that, you will make BOE boots. To get 194 item level boots, you have to be renowned rank 29 or higher and to have more than 190 item level gear. Of course, with this farm you will get lots of raw gold and clothes. This farm is located in Raven Dread, you can see the exact location on the screen right now. Farm number 8 is AFK Herbalism Raven Dread Farm. There is a spot in Raven Dread where herbs respawn every 1 or 2 minutes. To this farm you need Shadowlands Herbalism. Good thing with this farm is that you can level up your tune and make some easy gold. For example I leveled my Paladin on this way. With rested experience boost you should get around 1 level per hour uh, plus around 20,000 gold from selling herbs on the auction house. To do this farm you should get Sky Golem mount. Uh, with this mount you can farm herbs while mounted. Just buy Sky Golem mount from the auction house. The price of this mount is around 30,000 gold, but with farming this place you will return that gold in probably 2 hours of farming. Of course, don't forget to install faster loot add-on and don't forget to use Shadowman's Gathering Enchant in your gloves. This farm is located in Raven Crat, you can see the exact location on the screen right now. So if you are lazy or if you want to relax and you have herbalism or you have tune that you want to level up or but on a relaxed way. This farm is perfect for you. Just sit in this small area, gather the herbs when they respawn and that's it. Farm number 9 is Madraxa Skinning Farm. Another good skinning farm and this farm is located in Madraxa. You can see the exact location on the screen right now. From this farm you should get around 40 heavy colors guides, 1600 desert ladders, 350 bones and 40 heavy desert ladders. Of course you need skinning and leather working to do this farm. 
skinning to skin these mobs and leather working to maximize gold making from this farm with making heavy calus hides from calus hides or making heavy dazzled armor kits and other similar things. Dazzle this farm with going in circle, pull the mobs, kill them, loot them, skin them and then move forward, pull more mobs and repeat. Farm number 10 is Castanatria Trash BOE Farm. You probably already know everything about this farm and I made a video about 50 runs of BOE farming this raid. So I recommend you to do this farm only if you are a lucky guy. Of course uh, here you are killing trash in Castanatria Mythic uh, raid. They can drop uh, 226 item level gear. You can usually sell these BOEs for more than 100,000 gold on the auction house. They have good sell rates, so you will sell them usually within one day. Thank you guys for watching, a special thanks to my members for their support. If you want to support my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button and like this video. Of course, if you want to support me even more, you can become an exclusive member of the game part. Thank you once again, good luck farming and see you in the next video.